Meet Goes. Hoi! Our favorite floppy eared explorer. Like most rabbits, Goes loves to hop, hop, hop around from place to place. But unlike most rabbits, Goes doesn't like to sit still and is always on the lookout for somewhere new. Goes takes his backpack with him on every adventure and is prepared for anything. If you look inside, you'll find his carrot compass, which leads him to adventure, his kite to fly and play, and his paintbrush and palette. Goes, why don't you show us what that's for? It all began one dark, starry night. The moon was shining, and Goes sat up in his bed. Wide awake. For some reason, he just couldn't fall asleep, no matter how many sheep he counted, so he decided to grab his backpack and head off down the rabbit hole to find adventure. Whoosh! He flew down the rabbit hole, and when he came out the other side, he felt as light as air. All around him were big, bright, shiny stars glistening in the darkness. He looked down at his feet, but there was nothing beneath him. Whoa! I'm floating! Just then, Kos realized where he was. I'm up in space! That must mean that I'm an astronaut! Kos could see the moon straight ahead of him. It looked much bigger than it did from his bedroom window. He opened up his backpack, pulled out his kite, and began to float over to the giant moon. Whoa! Watch out for the space rocks, Ghost! Bump! Ouch! <laughs> Oops! Too late! When Ghost landed on the moon, he looked around. Hello! Is anyone out there? But there was no one to be seen. He took out his carrot compass to see where it would lead him. But his compass pointed straight back at him. That's when he heard a strange noise. Beep, beep, beep. The noise was coming from behind him. He turned around and was faced with a funny looking creature he had never seen before. My name is Luna Rover. It's nice to meet you. Luna was a robot. She had four wheels for feet and a shiny metal body. Welcome to the moon. Jump on my back and I'll show you around. So, Ghost jumped onto Luna's back and they began to zoom around the moon together. Exploring the moon was so much fun and Ghost and Luna did everything there was to do. They played space rock tennis and slid down the crater slide. They had a space race around the moon and they even both wrote their names into the dusty ground. Lunar and Kos had become the best of friends during their journey together around the moon. They both wished that the fun would last forever. However, Kos was starting to feel sleepy and knew it was time to go home. Can't you stay a little while longer? said Luna, sad that Kos was leaving. Luna lived on the moon all by herself, and that could be a lonely place for a robot. Why don't you come back with me? But Luna couldn't. She was put on the moon especially to discover new things that one day would help everybody to look after their planet. Luna gave Kos a special glowing space rock as a present to take home with him so he would never forget the fun they had had together. Kos held tightly onto his kite and began to float through space back home. Farewell, Kos! Kos waved back at Luna, feeling happy that he had made a new friend. When Kos arrived home, he was finally ready for bed. He had a new friend and had discovered a new place. Feeling happy, he snuggled into bed, shut his eyes and dreamt of all the new places he was yet to discover in the future. The End